Matt, it, it looked like your offense line played better, but after what you take, it was so nice. Uh, yeah, we did. We played better. Um, we were we were more physical. We were, you know, you could tell the difference uh, where we're struggling at the center spot, not having a big nose guard cover us up like I talked about last week. <clears throat> and, you know, not just having a that, – that's been the thing that's hurt us the past several weeks, just playing really good uh, nose guards. And they would play the split front, so it, it took a little bit of pressure off of us there, put more pressure on our guards, and uh, both guards played well. Um, Mike and uh, Gavitter both both played well. Mike, Mike uh, actually got the uh, whole lot of the week. Greg got higher than, uh, than anybody else. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to him continuing growing in that spot and continuing to get better. You know, he worked his way back into a starting role, and, and uh, it, it really helped uh, that those guys played well. The tackles played well outside. So, you know, we stayed on our blocks uh, better, not where we were going to be yet, but uh, you know, the run game was definitely helped out. Uh, they get a little bit of improvement. Matt, in your career, have you? been a part of this much shuffling, this many different people mixing and matching, especially this late in the season? Uh, no, I have usually, uh, uh, this late in the season, usually you get kind of settled in, but, you know, with Chase's shoulder injury, and I'm set out a week, and then just, just not finding a guy at center there that, that's that's really holding it down. But uh, like I said, Chase played much better, uh, but, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. You got to try to get the best five up. You can't just uh, keep putting the same thing out there and expecting a different result, so we had to change some things up, and you know, obviously it showed we played much better, so hopefully we just got to continue. Did Bryson do part of it even more nasty? I know you, you talk on the with technique, but is there a, a nastiness that he needs to? Well, it's really just it's just the overall. I mean, he's not he's fine there. It's just the physical side. You know, he's just he's young. He's richer freshman. He's not you know playing this league, especially you know you got to look at who we played over the past. You know, the, the, the kid from. Out of state, with the spreadsheet senior, the kid from Baylor. I mean, you saw him the other night. He was the, the, the center, the All-American center from uh, Oklahoma. I mean, that, they were battling all night long. So you look at, and the, you know, the, the, the nose tackle from Oklahoma is going to be a draft guy. But he played over a series of five weeks every week versus an older guy, a redshirt senior that was really strong, that was a, that was a really good player. And, uh, you know, he, he just struggled from the standpoint of not being strong enough yet. And that, he knows that, and he battled and. You know, that, his, how hard he works and how hard that he wants to play is not an issue. He's just not ready yet. I hate that we had to put him in that situation that we had to. Do you think this unit would have fared a little better throughout the season and you actually run into an even front before? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, no doubt. Because that was, you know, that was our, that was our weak point. It was the middle, you know, was the center position from the standpoint of, you know, being, the, being a position that's, that's matured where we want it. And uh, that was tough playing against them. And again, they're just like I said, you know, you watch that, that Oklahoma Baylor game, and, and uh, that nose guard from Baylor, he gave Creed Humphries all he wanted. That kid's you know, probably one of the best centers in the nation. So we played some really good nose guards. Matt, Oklahoma State, maybe not historically known for their defense, but it seems like they're playing pretty good ball right now and getting a little better each week. What you they say? are. They're, they're playing really well. Uh, you know, versus the run, they're similar to, to Iowa State, what they do up front with three big guys in the middle and really just try to eat up all the gaps. And they play a lot, drop a lot of people in coverage. So we're back to, you know, kind of where we're Iowa State, um, Baylor, you know, those weeks where we had uh, the big three guys up front and we got to figure out what we're going to do with them. But they, they run the ball well, they run well. Uh, they got a lot of guys in coverage, do a lot of different things, a lot of different fronts. They're kind of young. So they do, they're doing a lot of stuff to kind of cover up where they feel like they may have some insufficient, um, you know, positions there. But they, they do a really good job covering it up. That safety's been playing pretty well, too. How much does that go into your... Yeah, he's a really good tackler. You know, it's, you know, you look at him, you look at the safety from Baylor, number three, and then the one from Iowa State got hurt, number 12. You know, all three of those guys are they're downhill, physical, tackle. You know, they don't miss tackles. So uh, you know, that's a guy that you got to always account for, just like we had two of those teams. You got to always account for that guy. He's playing really good. How nice was it to see bowls that you know, were popping for ten plus? Oh, it was, it, you know, the running backs ran, you know, ran hard. Uh, it was just one of those nights where we really uh, did a much better job of straining and staying on blocks. Uh, it was really nice to see some, you know, especially after the first series. The first series, uh, it was just. It was an awful first series. We, we messed up two of the three plays up front. Came with a big hit on the quarterback, and we had to, you know, kind of come over the sideline and, and regain our composure and go back out. And the next drive was really nice. But it, it was good seeing some, some holes being made and some blocks sustained and running backs hitting the holes and, you know, getting some good yards in the run game.
what do you think of how Jared performed first start? Uh, Dave, you know, the thing about it, he's, you know, he's a, he's a tough kid. You know, that second, uh, was the first third down of the game where we messed up protection, he, he just got hammered back there. He came on the sideline and said, you okay? He's like, yeah, coach, I'm fine. Like, nothing ever happened. He's a tough kid. You know, I think he's uh, <clears throat> he's played behind some, some pretty tough deals at Bowling Green and got hit a lot. So he's it didn't really phase him. He, he's a tough kid. He hung in there and made some great plays. I mean, you know, that, that scramble at the end was huge keeping his eyes down field and, and hitting the touchdown. But I thought he played well. I thought he, he had a quick release. Uh, got to step up in the pocket a little bit more. Um, but overall, he bailed us out a couple times. Where their defense fans were really good. I mean, they, the, those guys played really hard. We struggled a little bit on the edge. But he did a good job of getting rid of the ball quick several times where we had some pressure. Have you thought of your tight ends this year and their ability, especially their blocking ability? Definitely gotten way better. Uh, Olafwin has gotten, uh, you know, and he's, it's one of those things where he's been with me a lot this year, working more drills, working shoots, and just because he never really played that position from a blocking standpoint. He's always a stand up receiver, and he has come many miles this season with, with how much better his technique is and how much better his hand placement, all those things. And he's just going to continue to get better. He's not where we want him to be yet. He's not there. But he is. He shows signs of being able to do what we want him to do with him just being a freshman to, to really be a quality tie in this league, blocking and catching. Matt, your pre-snap movement and adjustments seem like it ramped up even a little bit more, like four guys you know, readjusting sides pre-snap this week. Do those things change each week according to what you're seeing defensively? Or is it just more a matter of, hey, we want to give the defense some different looks, something they haven't seen on film yet? Yeah, it's just you try to, you know, you, it's like I was talking last week. You, you don't want to change your fundamentals. You don't want to change the fundamental things, but you want to change the picture. You want to change the formation. You want to bring motion. You want to, we're trying to do things like that just to make those guys think so they can't hone in because, you know, at this point of the season, you put so much out there, they can sit there and look at, hey, this formation, these are the top two things they like to do and have those guys really tuned in to what you're going to do and react fast. And also, you know, you do some shifts, you do some motions. It really just kind of slows down their thinking a little bit. And that's, that's what you try to do is get them to uh, get them to think while they're out there. The more you think, the slower you're moving. And that's that's what we try to do. Are some of those designed to hopefully, like, provoke a reaction, a set to get to something, a defense that you think you can attack with the play that's yeah, called? Yeah, always trying to get angles. Trying to get angles and trying to make them think. And that's, you know, that's, that's what we're trying to do is, is make them sit there and think a little bit and then, Get an angle on a run game, and I thought we did a good job last week of, of getting some angles and getting the ball outside. Did get points, but you know, how much did you like that drive at the end of the first half? Just the way you guys were able to mix run and pass. And I thought I thought the receivers did a really nice job. I thought the quarterback did a nice job of checking the ball down, and the receivers and running backs did a great job when they got it. They got as much as they could. They got out of bounds. We had stuff with two minute drill. We worked on it all the time. We're going all the time. They, I thought I felt like they understood what we we're trying to do when we ran the ball. We got we got big yards, and then we hustled the line. Got set. We knew it was a situation where it was a first down. The clock was going to start. We got lined up. Next play, the quarterback did a really nice job, especially to meet his first start with us to uh, to manage that two minute drill. And he, like I said, receivers did a nice job. Uh, I think it was uh, Esdell, a couple catches, got the first, got, you know, got got to the first down marker, got out of bounds, didn't try to stay in and, and score and run out of time. I'd like to have made the field goal in, but uh, you know, that, was, that was big to put that drive together after that. How far have your receivers as a group come, and what has Simmons and, and Campbell done to make well, that happen? Really just their, their big, you know, Simmons came on about mid-year of making big plays, showing the ability to be a tough tackle. And most of his big plays were catch, break a tackle, uh, you know, and then, and then make a run. He showed, I think, his his – you know, his ability to, to catch, break tackles, make, make plays, and, and really just from the whole receiver room standpoint, with guys going down and nobody flinching, I think it's been really big. Another guy stepped up. You know, I think that's, that's been really big. With guys stepping up and making plays when other guys get hurt. You know, we, hopefully we'll get, get Simmons back and be able to add another guy to our arsenal. Um, you know, that's been, that's been big now to get some guys back and able to play full speed. How about Campbell's in one zone? You know, he's a, he's a hardworking kid. You know, that, that, that kid's, you know, dealt with a lot of injury in his career, and this is really the first time he's had a full, um, you know, off-season and season to continually get reps and get better. And, and he, can, he can really run, man. He's a big guy. And 
and that's 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 hard to cover uh, when you get that guy downfield, uh, especially when he, uh, the day he was throwing the ball. Uh, so he's really in that room. He's a great kid. He, uh, you know, he's just an overall happy person and, and works really hard. He's a real joy to be around, and I think he brings a lot of positivity to our offense and to that receiver room. Receivers from a block standpoint, do you feel that's improved? Oh yeah, no doubt. Our whole receiver room has gotten so much better. You know, with, obviously with the transfers over the summer. And then those guys just each week, Coach Dodd done a really good job of just, I'm just keeping being patient with them and continuing to teach them, continuing to teach them. Because you know, as y'all know, not many of those guys have, have played any snaps, so they continue to get better as the season's gone on. And we're, you know, we've got a, we've got up our catch percentage. And that's going to definitely get, that's going to continue to get better as they get reps. And you know, it's it's a lot of stuff to, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that receiver position to take in. As far as, you know, because you're talking about changing formations, changing motions, those guys got to know where to line up all the time. And, uh, you know, what kind of what kind of leverage they have on the DB and, you know, be able to run their, their routes to the correct depth. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff when just catching the ball, but we kind of, uh, you know, I, I think that room's definitely continuing to get better. Like Coach Brown said, that's our goal every week is just get better. Get better, don't look too far forward, and just get better, win the, win the meetings, win practice, you know, and just continue to go one another. Uh, that that'd be tough. They've all come a long way. I mean, as Dell has shown, I, I think you're probably right. He's come a long way as far as what we thought we had going coming out of spring to what he's doing now. He's been solid. He's getting better at blocking. He's getting better at catching the ball and getting what he can get. And get uh, you know, he caught that screen the other day, broke a tackle, got 13, 11 or 13 yards on it. That was that was big. Just being being consistent. That's really where he's he's going to be the best. It's just continue. Man, did you ever have to play through a shoulder injury like Chase did because he's two weeks removed from not playing and then he gets back to center, doesn't have that snap, tends to hold up pretty well? Yeah, right. And, uh, <laughs> and some guys could opt for surgery at that point. Yeah. But to stick it out and. It just, all that. It says a lot about him, how much he cares for the team, you know? And just, just who he is, where, you know, he, he's, he knows what he's got and he knows what the deal is with it and he continues to rehab and continues to just keep practicing. And we, you know, we try to. You know, where I can on the field, I try to not put him in situations where he can hurt him more, you know, as far as practice every day. But yeah, I think it just says a lot about what kind of person he is and how much he cares about his teammates and don't want to let people back. And Matt, with regard to some of the free snap stuff, Winston Wright seems like he's always on the move and just taking eyeballs with him, but yep. I imagine he's more than a decoy. Well, that kid, you know, that kid can really, really run. Right. And, you know, defense coordinators see that. And they, you know, they make sure when you got a kid like that coming across the field with a chance to get the ball in their hand, I mean, that's, that's going to take some eyes with him. You know, we we gotta gotta make sure to keep him in the game plan. He's a guy that we need to get, you know try to get him the ball several times to see if he can kick that case of edge as you guys saw in that kickoff return. He can really run. Okay, thanks, coach. All right, thanks, guys.